kicking my feet as I move into the music Step to the beat, I woke up today Canceled all my plans and I stepped right outside With my guitar in my hands and the notes became alive As the sound caressed the air and I kicked it up a notch As I strolled without a care cause I'm going down the road To a brand new place and I'll get there with a smile on my face Yeah, so lift me up Good evening, I'm Adam Carson and you're watching House to Home. Joining me tonight is a rock music ba band Atomics and uh, here to talk about their debut album in a perfect world. Good evening guys and welcome. Adam, Great thank you very much for having you us. Here. Thank you for having us here. Uh, before we talk about the album, uh, I want to give our audience a chance to get to know you and how you started in the business. and. Tom, why don't we start with you and Miko and Patrick. Feel free to jump in anytime you want. Yeah, please uh, jump in, save me when I'm sinking. <laughs> you know what I'm For me to start, it's a, boy, I'll try and squish this all in. My parents were both musician singers. Right. And uh, so when they didn't have someone to watch us, we'd have to go to the studio with them. Uh -huh. And we'd make too much noise in the control room and they'd shove us out into the studio, uh -huh. which is where we wanted to be because there's drums out there and basses and guitars. and. Awesome. So it's kind of a natural evolution, you know, to start playing, and then of course I made my way into the control room. Sure. Because there was too much. And you new started stuff to this uh, when you were 14. Oh gosh, the musician stuff started, you know, with m instruments and everything started when I was much younger. But yeah, 14, I made my way into the control room. Control room. Yeah, my dad awesome. was actually putting in a new console with everyone at the studio. And the uh, the techs and the engineers were all long hair rock and rollers, so they're listening to Black Sabbath back in the right. tech room. You know, I was like, man, I need to go and hang out down there more often. <laughs> so, you know, I, mean, I used to run for like burgers and stuff on my dirt bike, and awesome. you know, eventually got to run the tape machine, set the mics up, and then the rest of it is kind of turning into what it career. is. Now? Yeah, it's a turned career. into a career actually. And uh, Miko, I know you started out pretty young too. Yeah, well, uh, when I came home from the hospital, there was a 15-piece rock and roll band in my living room. <laughs> so it was kind of, you know, and we, we lived directly across the street uh, first and then uh, next door to a band called Delaney and Bonnie, who during the early 70s were really pivotal in a lot of people's careers, Harrison and George Harrison and Eric Clapton and, you know, a bunch of other people. Um, and he was then like the E-Trust baby that was up there. <laughs> So I, it was kind of like I had no choice, you know, it's like pick up an instrument quick. Um, and then my dad ended up uh, doing an, an acting career, you know. Um, so that kind of opened up a lot of doors in a lot of different ways and, and uh, just uh, showed a whole world of, of, of uh, craft and artistry to me really young. So it was great. I started playing guitar at like 12 and, and bass as well and, and uh, just went bass from there. Bass is your passion. Uh, bass, yeah, both actually. You both know, I mean, guitar. they are both very different instruments and different animals and, and need to be treated as such. But yeah, I, I, I play a lot more bass these days, um, which I'm really having a great time. It really holds the fort together and stuff. Oh, like I've that. seen you play. I, I've noticed that, that you're really passionate Thank about you. what you do. Well, it's great because, uh, you know, playing with these guys, it, it really makes it a lot of fun because, you know, it's How is it like so playing with that guy? With Patrick? Oh, man, it's, 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 it's <laughs> always an adventure. Sorry, bro. No, it's always an adventure. <laughs> it's great. Are you kidding? It's 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 the most fun I think I've ever had with, with, with a drummer because he's just so solid and so sincere with his uh, with his instrument. And it's 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 really uh, yeah, other than his timing and his tone <laughs> and stuff and his choice of drums, he's unbelievable. Yeah, no. yeah. He's and just, they send checks everywhere. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's, he's, exactly. He's just he's phenomenal. So Chad, I, it's I, I've, I've heard you play. You're yeah. phenomenal. Oh. You're phenomenal. Thank you. That's and, another check um, for you. <laughs> you know, um, uh, Tom called you the missing link. The missing link. Uh, that distinctly. Well, you know, a band, it's funny to say, and I know everyone, people will say and agree, is that a band's only as good as its drummer. Yeah. And yeah. when you have a guy like that, Man, it's all good. Doesn't when, matter. When I heard you play, Miko, I want to be a drummer when I grow up. Leave me back. I'm on, sorry. On Patrick. the drummer's perspective, if, if you play with people that really don't know what's going on, they make you sound bad. So you know, it's it's all a collaborative effort. You know, I sound yes. as as good as everybody in the band. 
you know, or you put a drummer. Uh, I got, no, I got to send out music. a check. It's like, to, yeah. cool. Uh, anyway, uh, <laughs> how much did you want for that one? Exactly. I gotta send, when I write this check, how much do I have to What's that? make this check out for when I send it well, to yeah. you? Yeah. We'll work it out. Yeah, okay. We got a few things going yeah, okay, on. Yeah, that's right. that's yeah. true. You can take it out yeah. of there. Well, we're going to take a quick break. Uh, when we come back, we're going to be talking about more about the, their debut album, uh, In the Perfect World. And we're going to talk about more about you guys and Atomics and how that came about. And, and the video that we're going to show you, the music video, it's actually airing first time ever. This is a, the premiere. We'll be first showing time. it here. I mean, yeah. we're, we're so, releasing it worldwide in about three days. So, so stay with us. We'll be right back. Welcome back. Uh, you're watching House to Home, and I'm Adam Carson talking with my friends Atomics, uh, Tom Fletcher, Miko Olmos, and Patrick Kacha. And we're talking about their uh, debut album, uh, In the Perfect World. Uh, let's talk about that a little bit, okay. uh, how that came about, how Atomics came about, and uh, what happened. Interesting in that uh, it, it wasn't a plan. You know, it was like something that just happened in the fact that uh, I was kind of putting my hand at writing songs mm -hmm. and doing demos on my own and, you know, showing them to a few friends, but not really putting it out there or anything. Mm -hmm. And through a friend of ours, uh, Patrick and I had been working on previous stuff together and Patrick heard one of the songs and said, can I play on that? Mm -hmm. And it came out really neat, you know, I mean, you hear it back, you go, wow, when you have a drummer like that who plays on your song, it makes it, it takes it to a whole nother level. And uh, he asked to play on some other ones, but what really spawned it was he came in <laughs> out of nowhere and said, what if you sang this melody? And I was like... Wait a second, do that again? Yeah. And, you why know, don't you sing that yeah, melody? Yeah, exactly. Why don't, you, why don't you sing that melody? And we stuck him in the vocal booth and it really turned into, and then Miko came in. I had been working on a previous project with Miko. So not only is he a great guitar player, as, I, as you previously mentioned, but he's a great bass player. Mm -hmm. So I called him and said, hey, Miko, what are you doing, man? You want to come down and maybe put some bass on this stuff? Mm -hmm. And it just one thing led to another, and other people really suggested that we work with to put it out as a record. Mm -hmm. And because we were just going to get it in movies and TV. Sure. And it sort of just turned into a band on its own. It, and it, I mean, it took you know, a life of its own. We play with two guys like this. And I've noticed that about you guys, and I've been to this studio and. And when you guys are together, there's this mutual respect and friendship that is really key for a band to, to have, I think. I, th what do you think? That's the funny, the funny that you mentioned because what we have personally together, which I've always, I've always admired, you know, Tom, and then I got to see Miko, and as soon as he walked into the studio, I was like, I really like this guy. <laughs> it was just, it came out natural, and then if you pay attention to the, to the CD and the whole message behind it, it's, it, it was, it's, actually, it's actually like, it's the same thing. Like, we're, we're doing nothing else but they're just putting on a record the way we feel about each other and everybody else around us. But know? there is a bigger purpose behind it, right? It's, it's not just Atomics, exactly. another band. Well, you uh, know, what, is, what is the purpose of Tom Atomics? Tom can explain. Uh, if you don't mind if I go. Yeah, I mean, 
without being preachy, we never want to be preachy. Sure. But Atomics, in, in our lyrics and what we put together, we try very much to be positive. Mm -hmm. We want to share things on a broad perspective that other people can relate to, everyone can relate to. Mm -hmm. And there's so much negative with, you know, what's happened in the housing oh, industry and what's happened with the banking and just so much negative energy. The economy, the sky is falling. We just would like to put out the word of the, you know, if we all acknowledge each other and just say thank you, which you'll see in a minute of what I'm really talking about, is that, uh, you know, we just want to start putting that message out there. And we find more and more people that hear what we're doing or we talk to, they all have the same thing. It's like, yeah, being positive, it's something we need to start putting out there. So, you know, just saying thank you to each other once in a while. And being just, nice to each other. Absolutely. It goes yeah, a real long it. way, man. Can, it really does go a long way, just that simple thank you yeah. and acknowledging people. Amazing things happen to nice people, you know, when you give to everybody, you know. You can... You know, it's amazing how a simple gesture can make such a big difference in somebody's life. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. And, you know, and then you pay it forward. That's True story. Mm -hmm. And uh, when when you were writing Thank You, you wrote the Thank You song, if I'm not yeah, mistaken. Well, right? I started it. And it's really cla you started everything's and a collaborative effort. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, how did that Thank You, the specific well, Thank You, came great, about? Well, great question. The real... And you'll see, actually, because uh, Miko's daughter opens our song. A friend of mine's daughter had just been born. It was his first daughter. And just the look in his face and the things that he was saying that day mm -hmm. really turned into, you know, thank you for being in my life. Mm -hmm. And just all the things that change in you when you realize that this person now depends on you for the rest of their life. Yes. And, you know, you just have that overwhelming feeling of love. But that's how it turned into the broader perspective of the metaphor for the whole song. It's just about love, compassion, and you know, having respect for each other. And I've heard the song many times. Yeah. I love the album and uh, the music video I've seen, of course, because I have the advantage knowing you guys. And that the music video resonates. That uh, resonates. That. Thank you for being in my life. It's Thank like, you, Adam. I, I, I'm hoping that our audience is going to appreciate it, which I'm sure they are. Uh, so let's go back and watch the video, and we'll come back, and we'll talk more about it. Oh, great. great. And thank you. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. <laughs> I just want to thank you for being in my life. I just want to thank you.
out and joke. And we're back, uh, <laughs> talking to Atomics, Tom Fletcher, Miko Olmos, and Patrick Kacha. Uh, wonderful vi video. Thank I love you it. Very much. I Thanks. love it. It's. Uh, I'm sure whoever saw it, they're they're appreciating it right now, and this was the first time it's airing. Actually, yes, it yeah. is. Yes, uh, it is. And I know you. You are more multi-talented guys you, you don't just write songs you don't just play instruments uh, Miko you are an actor you're a producer mm. yep I, I just finished uh, producing a film called Philly Brown with awesome. uh, my my father and my uh, brother and uh, a couple other pr production companies uh, Silent Giant and SEMA Productions and uh, and your yeah. father <coughs> is Edward James uh, Edward Olmos, J yeah. James yeah. Olmos. Yeah. he's an yeah. actor so he's been uh, he's been at the game for a little while you he's know. done one or two things yeah, he's done a few things, yes yeah. I think so and he's <laughs> so. not only an actor he's an activist he yeah. he he really is for the people yeah, yeah. and he, he, he really showed us that real young you know that we had to that it was really important to 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 remember where we came from you know and 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 uh, to not let things get carried away, so to speak, you know. Yeah, and, and even his movies touched lives, mm -hmm. uh, where people, uh, you know, followed his uh, model, uh, yeah. the, the character that he plays in the movies. Yeah, you know, they uh, he really resonates, I think, with with a lot of people a across cultures, you know, um, to to remember that we're all just human. Yeah, and, you know, and it's just a huge jump thing. in for a second. Yeah, I've had the I've been very fortunate please. to know them for at least twenty years. Mm. Don't age us like that. But, yeah, yeah, that, but Eddie is, you know, such an influence on all of us just because of seeing his work ethic and the way he treats people. It's everything we talk about. Mm -hmm. It's, you know, it influenced all of us. Yeah, and it goes back to like what what Tom was saying and Patrick was saying earlier is is the simple message of just saying thank you. It's, it goes such a long way, you know, um, and and really creates a, a, a ripple effect, mm -hmm. you know, a positive ripple effect, um, and. Uh, I just am so fortunate to, to, to be a part of this right here, you know, um, with these guys um, and, and to, to, to be here with you guys. So it's been great. Um, well, we're talking to Atomics. If you are, you should go check it out. Uh, the album is called In the Perfect World. It's available on iTunes and Amazon. And uh, check them out. It's real good. Uh, I love I love everything on there, but my favorite is thank you. Nice. Thank you is the perfect yeah, because I have three kids. And, yes. Yeah. And I love them. And, yeah. And I, that's, you know, yeah. when you have kids, you know what that means. Yeah. Yeah, it's funny because everybody, like, when they see the product coming out, they were like, oh, that's great. So the, the record, and it, and so what's next? And the funny thing is that we haven't stopped since mm -hmm. the release of this. Like, there's so many, in, right in between things at the studios, like, Tom is like, you hear, him doing something, I just go like, what was What's that? that? <laughs> Next thing you know, it's another song. Yeah. That's yeah. after, yeah. Another song. That's yeah. after yeah. he yeah. said, man, can you stop playing that guitar <laughs> like three times? Like, I watch him working because he had it, and then I'll, I'll just kind of start strumming something, and he's like, <laughs> And then it's like, I'm sorry. And then I'll play something and think it's irritating him. And he's right. like, wait a minute. And then he stops. Right here, I, what if we, and the next thing you know, we're writing yeah. again. Yeah, and then we already have two more songs in the can. I know. Two yeah. more, and there's, uh, you know, we all use, like, the latest technology to just throw down, like, basic ideas or using phones and stuff like sure. that. My iPhone, as uh, the other night, he goes like, oh, I got this great idea. And I go like, great, let me get my phone. And I hit the record button and it's like the memory is full. Oh, Blowing yeah. up. That's, and I just go like, okay, Tom, we're just going to have to progress with what we have. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Stop. Use our There's yeah, so yeah. much coming that it's amazing, yeah. you know, and, and we can't stop because it's, it's whatever you feel, if hopefully everybody can feel it from the record, it's how we feel when we're together. And we spend 16 hours a day together. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I know. You it's guys, a true story. You know, uh, <laughs> uh, and especially, Miko, you have three daughters, family. You're acting, you're I know, producing. Yeah. Yeah. And you're, you're in the recording studio with these guys, 12, yeah, 12 no. 7. I don't know how you guys well, do it. Well, we use Marley to open up the video, right. yeah. and that, that way you can see them all the yeah, time. I already exactly. know Marley. I haven't met Marley, but when I see him, I already know her. Yeah, it's so. like, just yeah. in case you forgot, Miko, yeah. here's Marley. Here's, your, okay. here's your youngest, yeah. yeah. And I know, as you were saying, uh, creative side is uh, phenomenal. You guys are already working on, on your next album, Yeah. which I already know a little bit about it, mm -hmm. uh, the song called... Uh, watch them. Watch, watch them, them walk, walk by. by, and that was dedicated. That's going to be dedicated 
Well, it, the, the actual intention of the song of Watch Them Walk By is it, it's about all the great people that have come through this plane and left a, a mark on our you know, society, our world. And th Steve Jobs had passed away. Yes. And he left such an incredible mark on this planet. One of the lyrics actually says the world is moving faster by his design. Yes. So it, it turned into a, our memorial to him. Yes. Because we use all the stuff that his computers, you know, that we use to make our music and videos and everything that we do. But yes, Autumn does have a personal thing on it because we actually captured him in the studio yeah. and the three of us were doing vocals and we That's couldn't a true punch, story. so we threw true him story. in. <laughs> we said, Arm, you ever record a record before? Awesome. No, well, you will, will now. <laughs> it was true. awesome because we have a little vocal booth and usually it's one person in there at the most and all three of us got into this vocal booth <laughs> and Artem's in there punching. True story. And True we're story. losing oxygen in this room <laughs> as we're singing and I mean by the time we got to the last one he punches in, not one of us hit the right note. <laughs> <laughs> But we ended up with the laugh. Well, I kept yeah. the laugh and used it yeah. in the song. It's actually in the song. song yeah. But yeah, it was yeah. so funny because Autumn didn't really know what was going on in there. And Patrick is like, we're laughing so hard. He's like, Autumn, when you get done with this punch, you should come in here and hang out with us. <laughs> Bring a deck of cards and we'll all hang out. Hang out in the booth. Man. All right, yeah. The booth is the size of a small closet. Yeah, it, was it was great. You did a great job. Thank, by you. The way. Thank you. Yeah, you can hear it. You'll be able to hear it on the next record. Exactly. You'll hear his work on the next album. Exactly. Uh, true story. <laughs> so, uh, things are happening for Atomics. Yes. Congratulations on your Thank album. You. Congratulations Thank you. on Very your. Much. And uh, let's talk a little bit about who brought this video. And uh, who has oh, yeah. their hands in so it? So where's, yeah. where's the bar? At? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, this guy. I mean, yeah. three four three productions. Uh, you guys just started that too, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Three four three productions is the one that takes credit for for producing this video. Basically. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. But all of it is Patrick. Yeah. 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 He, this we, guy got we, final cut and started we just let him loose. in the footage and. Oh my God, but man, there are some classic moments. Uh. If I could put a microphone up in that room <laughs> and you could hear his comments, you can't say them on live TV. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's unbelievable. He's up there. I mean, it's a... Patrick, I can relate to yeah. that. Right? I was going through that this whole week. Yeah, it's yeah. like uh, you and Tom is calling, hey man, how, how's it going there? I mean, in the rendering world, you know, <laughs> waiting for the system, and then the whole tower, by the end of the video, it started like locking up on me and the graphic card, and I just go like, I'm not that hip with these things, you know? It's like, yeah, I'm trying to understand, but. Oh, he, you know, he says to me, oh, the, you know, the computer's blowing up, right? Yeah, right. So I get to the studio, <laughs> he's not kidding, like the sides are off the computer, there's Smoke. On it. <laughs> it's like it's literally blowing yeah. up. <laughs> yeah, but you know, it's it's the thing is that I this project, which again I, I did not expect to. I go like, who knew? One day I just woke up and I just go like, look what's happening here. Yeah. You know, something really magic, and then you get really <clears throat> passionate about what you're doing, and. As soon as I started just by, you know, just doing something, you just you just want to do it. It's 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 one of these things that it's it feels so great to throw out a message like this with this band and with people that I admire so much and they're like my best friends now. That you just get passionate, you just want to get it done. You know, I want to get it done right and make it, you know, the best looking thing that you can or sounding thing that you can ever give out to people you ah, know? people hear with their eyes these days so, so yeah. it right it's true. <laughs> so, yeah. uh, well pat nico tom it's great knowing you guys i mean it's a pleasure Likewise. thank you Likewise. for coming out and oh, thank making you for house to us. home uh, shine basically oh, thank you. and uh, please uh, check them out online uh, on itunes and uh, amazon the name of the album is in the perfect world and the name of the band is Atomics. Thank you again. Yes, thank you. And uh, thank please you. Thank you very uh, much. go check them out. Thank, thank you, you and good night. <laughs> that was great. That there's something more that I would like to try and say to you. I just want to make you laugh for being in my life. I just want to thank you.
I just wanna 